food safety is enormously important for India. We have a population of 1.35 billion people and uh, the challenges that we face in terms of malnutrition, micronutrient deficiency and in terms of the rampaging non-communicable diseases are so large that we have to find solutions that are different. The first step that we took was to bring in the Food Safety and Standards Act in 2006 um, followed by the setting up of the authority in 2008. We have notified standards for approximately 14,000 categories of food products, additives and colours. We've also set up a network of 188 primary laboratories and 12 referral laboratories. We have brought in regulations for newer areas such as uh, trans fat labeling, organic food, front of pack labeling and menu labeling. We have a very innovative system of capacity building and that is the uh, FOSTAC training. Uh, we have 140 training partners uh, who administer training and capacity building to stakeholders according to curriculum designed by us. A very important piece is the use of IT technology in order to be able to manage the scale of our operations. Uh, the FOSTAC system is our licensing and certification system uh, that covers licensing, inspections and links also to uh, our testing and the import uh, systems. We've also brought in uh, tools for uh, building capacity and uh, voluntary compliance by industry, uh, food businesses, and that, uh, that takes the form of hygiene rating and third party audits, uh, which are voluntarily adopted by food business operators. Eat Right India was actually an approach to take a systems approach and to also make both the food businesses as well as the consumers a part of the system. A very interesting approach which I think is going to build the next generation of leaders which is the Eat Right challenges for districts, for cities and even to engage uh, our partnership of stakeholders through the net profan. So I think these uh, efforts are really creating the leadership which will take Eat Right India forward. We've been a member of the Codex Alimentarius Commission since it was set up in 1964. And uh, in 2015, we took over as the regional coordinator for Asia. Um, and over the last five years, our focus has been on fostering uh, cooperation and standard development uh, in Asia. We've hosted two very uh, successful CC Asia meets. And uh, we have also been part of uh, setting up two group projects under the Codex Trust Fund which have been well received and have built capacity of the membership. Um, I think um, and we also host the uh, Herbs and Spices Committee of the uh, Codex and in this capacity we are working steadily and strongly to generate the standards for these very vital condiments uh, most efficiently. So I think we have been uh, very much a part of the codex system. We worked uh, in recent years with the FAO to uh, also conduct a study on uh, food fraud and measures to address this and I think that uh, it's in this direction that we would seek to work uh, further in the years ahead with the FAO.